guys. Mm. Hold on. <sighs> this is so good, guys. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss a taste like this. Hey guys, welcome back. You know it's that time of year again when we have to make our special sorrel wine or drink, whatever you wanna call it. So this is just my pot of boiling water and what I have added to it is some ginger that I have blend and some pimento seed and some and some cinnamon leaf. So I've added some cinnamon leaf some ginger that I have blended in my blender and just some water and I am letting this come to a boil and then I'm gonna add my sorrel to it and this is my sorrel I bought the dry sorrel um, at the store it's easier last year I tried buying the um the fresh one that you know we normally get in Jamaica and trust me it was no good I had to add one of these to it so this year I'm just gonna do it with this one and I'm making a video for you guys so you can see how I make my special cereal drink and when this comes to a boil I'm just gonna add two packs of cereal to this pot you see the size and then I'm gonna let it boil for about three to five minutes then I'm gonna turn my stove off and I'm just gonna cover this and let it stay overnight and then tomorrow I will do the next part of the video so you guys can see the finished product so this is just my pot with my boiling water my ginger my cinnamon leaf and I have some pimento seeds so this is just gonna come to a boil and I'm gonna add my sorrel and then tomorrow when it's finished drying as we would say in Jamaica then I'm gonna show you how I mix and what I put in when I'm mixing so thank you guys remember to subscribe to my youtube channel it's in the kitchen with fluffy K enjoy this is my ginger and pimento seed boiling so you see I'm making it boil for a couple of minutes like five to ten minutes like ten minutes um, so that you know all the ginger and everything and the flame the um the flavor from everything would be in the water so the next thing I am going to do I have a pack of the soil here and I am um, open it I'm just gonna add it to my water and this is the second bag and I'm just going in with it so I have two packs of this sorrel in my water now and what I want to do I just want to get the edges like right around here no. and guys just make sure that everything is you know under there guys I'm gonna leave this to bubble for five minutes just five minutes not too long I'm just gonna cover it and let it stay here for five minutes and then I'm gonna turn the stove off and I'm gonna keep it cover and it's gonna stay overnight and when I get up tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon whichever time you know it doesn't matter I'm just gonna mix this with the rest of my ingredients and I'm gonna show you what I put in after my soil has drawn so you see that I have the cinnamon leaf and I have the pimento seed and I have my ginger in the water and now I had my sorrel to it and I'm gonna let this come to a boil for five minutes with the cover on and I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna let it stay there and sit for like 12 to 15 hours 
see that so in another five minutes I just turn it off and I'm gonna let it stay just like this and stay on the stove all night and tomorrow I am going to show you what else I'll be adding to my sorrel drink thank you guys stay tuned hey guys welcome back it's a new day and last night I show you how I did my sorrel how I boil the water with the ginger and the pimento seed and if then I add my sorrel to it turn off the stove and let it you know come to what it is now and right now I'm gonna sweeten my sorrel and I'm gonna use just some brown sugar I'm gonna use some brown sugar I'm gonna strain it so I'm just gonna like you know see this is what it looks like this with all the stuff in there I'm just gonna strain it and when I think when I finish straining it I will come back and I am going to show you what else I'm gonna put in in my cereal so I'm gonna strain this and when I come back and I'm about to mix as you can see I already have my brown sugar in my container I am gonna come back and show you what else I will be adding to my sorrel wine so stay tuned guys so I'm just straining my sorrel wine so when I strain it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix it and what I will be using to mix it it's some red label wine and some white rum. So this is what I'll be using to mix my sorrel wine, guys, and some brown sugar. And that's all I'll be putting in my sorrel. So when I finish mixing this, to my taste, put some brown sugar in. And I'll be adding some red label wine. Have to do with how much you want, how much you like in yours. I don't these are optional I don't think you have to add it but you know we Jamaicans don't like our sorry wine without a little spirit as we would call it so not too much to make you drunk now guys so I'm just gonna mix this and as I mix I'm gonna taste make sure it's sweet enough and if you can't have too much sweet make sure it's not too sweet That's all I'll be doing. So stay with me when I come back. I'm going to show you my sorry wine in a glass with some nice ice. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm just here to pour my sorry for you guys. Um, I finished making my sorrel. You see step by step how I make my special Christmas sorrel. My and uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour my sorrel for you guys, so you can see what my finished sorrel looks like, guys. So stay tuned. Here I have it. See, I have my glass, and now I have my sorrel, and I'm just gonna pour it. Look at this, guys. Wow. Mm. Okay, and I'm gonna taste, and I'm gonna tell you guys what my sorry tastes like, guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, mm. hold on. Mm. This is so good, guys. 
Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss a taste like this. This cereal, trust me, it's rich, it's thick, it's nice. You know, you remember those days when grandmama used to make cereal? Oh my God, this make me remember my grandmother so much. She always do these things for us Christmas, during the Christmas season. Um, trust me. It's a lucky thing I was paying attention to my grandmother. Because trust me, now I can do the same thing for my family. And they can feel just as special. So guys, make sure you make this sorry for your family or for yourself. And try it. It's really good. Very delicious. Very refreshing. Very tasty. And you don't have you you don't only have to have this when it's Christmas time, guys. You can have this all year round. And you know, it's a it's a good drink, you know. Whether you're hanging out or you're at home, it's a good vibe. So mm -hmm. Trust me. For the rest of this year, I'm gonna stop drinking cereal. Mm. Thank you guys. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel. It's in the kitchen with Fluffy K. Um, like, comment, share, hit that notification bell, guys. So every week when I upload a new video, you guys can see what I have cooked or what special drink I have made in my kitchen. So Stay tuned. Bye.